guys, Gold Pony here today in the new 2018 Ford Explorer, courtesy of Bob Ruth Ford in Dillsburg, PA. I am in the one I have always wanted to review, but I never have the opportunity to, and that is the Explorer Sport Trim, but I will go over all of them today, so as always, you guys, let's start with pricing. And so to start, there are several different trim levels for the 2018 Explorer. First one being the base, that one's going to start at $32,140, then you have the XLT for $34,000. 175 limited is going to start at $42,090 sport again the one I'm in today starts at $45,950 and lastly the platinum that one is going to start at $53,940 but so then when it comes to the power plant there are three different engine setups available for the 2018 Explorer first one being the 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 that one belongs to the base Explorer as well as the XLT but that one is going to put out 290 horsepower at 65 100 RPM and 255 pound-feet of torque available at 4,000 RPM. Power with that engine setup is either going to be sent to the front wheels or all wheels through Ford's four-wheel drive system. And MPG numbers come in at 17 City 24 Highway for the front wheel drive, 16 City 22 Highway for the all-wheel drive, and the power is going to be sent to the ground through a six-speed automatic. But then you have the other engine setup that is going to be standard for the limited, optional for the XLT. This one is going to give you slightly better MPGs. That is going to be a 2.3 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine. That one is going to put out 280 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 310 pound-feet of torque available at 3,000 RPM. Again, power sent to the front wheels or all wheels through a six-speed automatic, giving you MPG numbers. Here you go, you guys. 19 City 27 highway for the front wheel drive, 18 City 25 highway for the four-wheel drive. But so then the last engine setup and the one I currently have today belonging to the Sport and Platinum trim levels is going to be the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged v6 engine that one is going to put out 365 horsepower 5500 rpm and 350 pound feet of torque available at 3500 rpm power is going to be sent to all four wheels only so there is only a four wheel drive system with that one and that power is going to be sent to the ground once again through the six speed select shift automatic giving you mpg numbers coming in at 16 city 22 on the highway and so first off with that twin turbo v6 you do get paddle shifters which i do have today i will test them out but i do want to test out the acceleration right now because I've never had this engine paired up with the Explorer before. So let's hit the gas and see how quickly we can get the new 2018 Explorer twin turbo V6 here up to speed. Actually, paddle shifters are not that bad on this one. Quite impressed, especially for an SUV. Usually SUVs insanely lack reaction time with the paddle shifters, but this one is definitely not too bad. So kind of liking that. It's open now for the acceleration. This is a quick SUV. Definitely can appreciate the twin turbo V6 in this one. Very impressed. Definitely no issues with merging onto the highway. And then to touch on the handling and the ride quality of the 2018 Explorer, this one does come with the McPherson strut front suspension with a 32 millimeter stabilizer bar in the front. In the back, a multi-link rear suspension with a 22 millimeter rear stabilizer bar. And there are gas pressurized twin tube shock absorbers absorbing the imperfections of the road a little bit for you. And carving through these back roads here, steering feel definitely feels nice for the Explorer no issues there but so that I did want to also mention you guys the four-wheel drive variant of the new Explorer does come with a traction management system giving you driving modes which can be controlled by using the circular dial just behind the shifter there but that's gonna give you driving modes like normal mud and rut mode sand mode it's no gravel and grass mode and what those driving modes are going to do which is more important I guess is adjust things like the throttle response the shift points and it is gonna greatly affect the stability control system as well so it is definitely gonna give you more stability ability and traction for some of those off-road conditions and also adjust where the power is going to be sent between the front and rear axle. And when it comes to visibility, I will say if that third row seating is up with the headrest up, those third row headrests kind of do hinder the visibility slightly. But if you have no passengers in that third row, simply just push the headrest down. You can even leave that third row up if you wanted to. And then in that case, visibility is just fine. So definitely no issues there if nobody's in the third row. And so, but anyways, you guys, enough with the driving dynamics. Let's check out the X of the new 2018 Ford Explorer. And so to start up front, that front grille will differ based off the trim level that you go with. For instance, the sport trim level that you're looking at right now will get a black mesh front grille. But if you go with the base or the XLT, you're going to get chrome vertical bars. Limited is going to give you another chrome design and the platinum is going to give you a unique chrome design to that one. Also, I do want to mention since I have the sport trim level today, this trim level is also going to give you Explorer letter 
mirroring on the front hood as well. But so then to the sides there are LED low beam headlights with the automatic feature that will be the standard setup for every single trim level. So standard LEDs is definitely a nice thing. Also LED signature lighting is going to come with the XLT trim level and up along with fog lights just below as well. Make your way to the sides, there are black door handles with side mirrors if you go with the base trim. If you jump up to the XLT, you will get body colored door handles with gloss black side mirrors and integrated turret signals as well. And that's actually the same setup that you're going to go with the Sport because the Sport is going to give you a couple different black accents throughout this one. Limited trim level is going to give you body colored side mirrors and if you go with the Platinum, that is going to give you chrome cap side mirrors with chrome door handles to go along with that as well. And I did want to also mention for all trim levels, you will get rear privacy glass in the back windows there. Roof rails is going to come standard with the XLT trim level and up. And looking down at the wheel setup, 18 inch aluminum wheels come with the base and XLT trim levels, but all other trim levels are actually going to give you 20 inch aluminum wheels varying in design. So the designs will be different for those remaining trim levels, but they all come in at 20 inches. And make your way to the back, LED tail lights come standard for all trim levels. There is a body color rear spoiler back there just below a rear window wiper. And you get dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips if you go with the first two engine setups but if you go with that twin turbo v6 you get dual exhaust outlets with quad tips which is the new setup for this year just like the mustang gt just pulled that out for this year you had the quad tips back there with this one and that is what i have today so as always you guys you know what's coming next here is that exhaust clip Now, since we are around back, at first I want to mention to open that rear hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob, so if you like, simply press that twice and that rear hatch is going to open up for you there. You will get a hands-free rear hatch if you go with a limited trim level and up. So if you have your hands full of groceries or mulch or whatever you're doing, simply kick your foot underneath that rear hatch, step back and the hatch will open up for you so you don't have to worry about grabbing the key or anything like that. That's pretty nice. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 21 cubic feet behind that third row, and there is a power folding third row if you go with a limited trim level and up. Once that third row is put down though, behind the second row, it comes in at 43.9 cubic feet, and with all rows folded, 81.7 cubic feet, which is definitely a good bit of space. This is a three row SUV after all. In that cargo area, I also did want to mention there is a 12 volt power outlet if you needed it as well. Then make our way to the rear leg room. Third row is gonna give you 33.3 inches. So it's probably left for small children. Make your way to the second row. That is gonna come in at 39.5 inches. Again, six feet tall. This is how much space I had. There is a center armrest with cup holders if you go with a limited trim level and up for that second row and again with the limited and up you get heated second row seats that is definitely pretty cool you don't see that on many vehicles so big fan of that and if you were curious there is roof mounted ventilation for all three rows for every single trim level so if you were worried about the kids being comfortable in the back you do have the roof mounted ventilation for that then make our way to the front seats base and xlt trim levels are going to give you cloth seating surfaces if you go with a limited trim level and up you will get leather seating surfaces and by the way, leather is optional on the XLT. I should mention that as well. With the leather seating though, you get heated and ventilated front seats. And then looking forward, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. For the XLT and up, it will come leather wrapped. And by the way, this is still the texturized leather that Ford uses, as opposed to the new smoother leather that comes in the new Mustangs. Just figured I mentioned that. And on the limited trim level and up, it will be power adjustable actually as well. But so that when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Ford logo on the one side and when you flip it over you have lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch the times two button and that middle button the times two button that is going to be your remote start which is going to come standard on the limited trim level and up it's optional on the xlt so once the vehicle is locked simply press that twice and this one is going to start up for you on the super cold days in pennsylvania i am not going to do that right now because i have the push button start which also does come standard on the limited trim level and up so i'm going to simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there it's about once started up speedometer is going to be front and center there are two digital displays to both the left and the right steering wheel mounting controls on the the left side are going to control what's on the left side digital display and the steering wheel mounted controls on the right side are going to control what's on the right side of the digital display so definitely easy to figure out there with that you're going to be able to check out things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty you have a digital speedometer if you wanted it is your tire pressure information what driving mode you're in navigation information radio information bluetooth information there's definitely a good bit of stuff you could check out up there and then when it comes to overall interior quality there is a twin panel moonroof i wanted to mention that comes standard on the platinum but it is 
is optional on the XLT limited and sport trim level. So I actually do have that one today. So that's pretty nice. Limited trim level and up is also going to add ambient lighting, which is pretty cool. And the ambient lighting is going to be displayed when the lights are on. So you have options like ice blue, orange, soft blue, red, green, blue, purple. So it kind of allows you a little customization on this one. That's pretty cool. Also limited trim level and up is going to give you dual zoom, climate control. All trim levels are going to get an overhead sunglass holder. And if you wanted a universal garage door opener, again, limited trim level and up is going to give you that. Although it is optional on the XLT trim level if you wanted it. But so then that kind of leads me into the tech on this one. Base trim level and XLT is going to give you the sync system. Sync 3 system is going to come with the limited trim level and up and sync 3 is optional on the XLT if you wanted it. But the regular sync system is going to give you Bluetooth and audio streaming as well as your radio information up there. Sync 3 again Bluetooth and audio streaming but Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well which means you get the free navigation system whether you have the Apple or an Android phone as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up there and there's a bunch of other apps you can check out as well. Also on the Explorer with the Sync 3 system a factory navigation system will actually come standard there and you can check out your climate control information on the Sync 3 as well and by the way since I mentioned the sound system if you go with the standard Sync system you're going to get a six speaker sound system if you go with the Sync 3 system you're going to get a 12 speaker Sony sound system with 390 watts and a subwoofer so let's see what's on the radio here and test out the clarity of that one camera's probably bouncing once again the sony sound system in fours is it's just a ton of bass super clear definitely a fan of that one absolutely no complaints but then last thing i wanted to mention on the tech is when you do put the explorer in reverse there is a reverse camera whether you go with the standard sync or sync 3 system that is going to let you know who or what is behind you and that is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well in the back there is latch aka lower or anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also standard is an advanced track system with roll stability control and there is a new package for 2018 called the safe and smart package that one is going to add $1,295 but that one is going to give you rain sensing windshield wipers which have already kicked on for me since it is a super nice day in Pennsylvania today also automatic high beam control a blind spot information system with rear cross traffic alert a lane keeping system and an adaptive cruise control system system with forward collision warning and brake support. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. Squirrel! Oh, I missed him. So many squirrels around here. Oh, 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 oh. My goodness, railroad tracks. Oh, it's raining harder now. That's absolutely wonderful. Look at them mountains. The foggy mountains, foggy Appalachian mountains and mountains and mountains and stuff. Now I feel like going for a hike. But darn, they sure are pretty. I'll tell you what. Squirrel! My gosh, with these squirrels today. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>